Holy cow. I don't even know if I remember how to do this. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been four, almost five months since I have uploaded a video. The longest I've ever gone without uploading anything, but I'm back today with a vlog. We are going to go over everything I eat today, what I've been up to, we'll do a makeup of the day. We will kick it back to what you guys normally are here on my channel for. I have spoken to a few of you over Instagram. If you guys missed my last video or my last few videos, you probably don't know that I have been in a different spot on Instagram. I am at Primal Glow Health on Instagram. Primal Glow Health is my little passion project. It's my new baby. I am currently being certified to be a health and wellness coach and Primal Glow Health is my new coaching business. I am so excited about it. I have been doing so much work on it. It's almost complete. I am so pumped and so proud of it. And it's definitely been a love and a passion project of mine. If you wanna follow along with Primal Glow Health, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. I post reels and stories every day on everything that I eat, tips on health and wellness, all those great, great things. So. I'm actually making my lunch right now. I'm making lunch right now. I'm doing leftovers today. I made a pork butt and gravy last night. So delicious. I shared me making it a few weeks back on Instagram. I got a lot of people asking me for a recipe, so I need to like write that down so I can share it, but it's super simple. It's a pork butt. You season it with salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, chop it up into cubes, blacken it, and then your veggies in it are onion, green bell pepper, serrano peppers if you like spicy, and garlic. You basically like cook everything down and then your gravy is made up of the rendered pork fat and beef bone broth or regular beef broth. And you just cook that down with the meat, it creates a gravy and it is chef's kiss amazing. So I'm having that. I'm, I had garlic mashed potatoes that I made with it for last night, but I'm just making some rice to have with it tonight and then I'll save the rest of the rice for like a ground beef bowl or something later in the week. But I've been trying to incorporate more leftovers throughout the week because my days have gotten a lot busier and sometimes I don't wanna take that long break to make lunch. Um, but typically for lunch, it's like a burger patty with some fruit and some honey and some butter, um, or avocado, just all the things. So um, no burger today, we're doing the pork roast for lunch. I woke up at six this morning. Well, my alarm went off at 5.30 and I hit snooze until six. Worked out, just not a fan really of working out first thing in the morning, but it needed to happen because my days have gotten so busy and I needed to like jump start on work right away. Um, just so that I can get everything for Primal Glow done that I need to in a day, but also, I still have the house to take care of. So like my mom and housewife duties have not stopped. It's just added onto the plate. So I have been making like writing down a schedule for my days um, to make sure that I'm like checking stuff off my list. Because if you're anything like me, you keep everything stored up here. And then before you know it, it's like four different songs playing in your head at the same time. And you just like cannot work out the mess of everything. So I'm like, okay, write your stuff down, girl. Check stuff off your list. Keep that head clear. We don't need stress ball Sally over here. We gotta keep that stuff in check. So this is lunch today. I have half a cup of white rice cooked in beef bone broth and then the leftover pork on top. So, so good. Now some of you may be like, why are you eating rice? I eat rice like once a week and I always, portion control it and when I cook it, I cook it in some sort of bone broth just to add a little bit more nutrients to it. But this is lunch, Oh, it is gonna be so delicious. I'm also gonna snack on some berries. I just finished my meal, but I just wanted a little something extra. Um, something that I have started doing is whenever I get all of my produce and my groceries in, I immediately go into prepping the fruit. Having fruit prepped and ready to go just makes building my meals so much faster, so much easier. It's an easy grab snack for the kids, for any of us. If you are like how I used to be and didn't prep my fruit, I highly recommend taking the time to do that. It will make life so much simpler. So 
I've been outside for about an hour now just getting some of my reading done. I typically do my work in my front office, but since I eat, breathe, and live being at home, it's nice to kind of change up the scenery every now and then. So thankfully I you know, have my laptop so I can just take it through various places around the house. And outside in the backyard, we got some new patio furniture like two months ago. So um, it's really nice to be able to come outside and get some fresh air and get my eyes on some sun and just you know switch it up throughout the day so so i'm gonna go ahead and put a pin in some of my work for right now I'll probably do a little bit more when the kids get home um there's just some reading and stuff that i need to get done for my um classes and my certification and stuff like that so um i figured now would be a good time to go ahead and go over my makeup of the day i have been sharing some clean beauty stuff over at the primal glow account one part of my health journey that I've been really interested in is lessening my toxic load. Like there's toxins everywhere and a lot of, you know, fragrances, products we use every day, products that we use to clean our home. As women, all the products that we put on our body, perfume, makeup, body care, all of that adds up and it's known to be major endocrine and hormone disruptors and leads to a lot of health issues. So I have really been making a conscious effort over the last six months to a year to start switching over some of my products to products that have cleaner ingredients and that are just a little bit safer and better to use. So some of my uh, makeup has changed. I did a Sephora VIB sale haul over at Primal Glow as well. If you wanna see any of those videos, I have those saved in a clean beauty highlight. But I figured I would go ahead and let you guys know that I am trying to do or use cleaner products. Um, and if you guys are interested in knowing more about that, maybe we can do a video on that. But for now, we're just gonna go over some of the clean beauty that I'm using now. Okay, we're gonna go over everything that I have on my face today. I am still obsessed with my Leatherology makeup train case. This thing is just one of the best like makeup bag slash handbag small accessory products that i've ever purchased i absolutely love it so much it sits on my vanity i love the trapunto i believe that's how you pronounce it monogramming on it um i still highly 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 recommend this thing i absolutely love it my makeup routine has just been super simple i am just really wanting something that is quick that last i have not really been into trying a bunch of new products i kind of just have been sticking to the same routine and the same products i've been using up a lot of stuff i cleaned out a lot of stuff i'm just really trying to minimize and simplify my stash and just making getting ready as quick easy and simple as possible so like i said i have been incorporating more products that have cleaner ingredients and kind of slowly replacing things as I run out. That being said, there are still products that I use in my routine that are not classified as clean or toxin free or anything like that. Um, I am not overly stressing about making sure everything is 100% toxin free because there are products that I like that will never be toxin free, but I'm just trying to be more conscious about it and make better decisions. But the primer that I'm using is this one from Natasha Denona. I don't even know how you pronounce this, but it's the skin glass dropper. It, it almost feels like a skincare product. It reminds, reminds me of the Laneige skin serum that they have, the makeup skin serum or whatever. This is the Energizing and Hydrating, hydrating Primer Serum. I feel like I cannot talk today. It has been forever since I've talked to a camera, can you tell? But I really like this. This is really pretty. It makes your skin super smooth and hydrated and my makeup wears great on top of it. So I've really been enjoying that. And then my base today is this one by Ilia. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I have mine in the shade ST4 Formosa. I've been using this for about a month now and I really like it. I feel like it creates a really nice base 
and this is going to just be perfect i think for the summertime i live in houston and it is really hot and humid and sticky here in the summer this gives great coverage a lot better coverage than i thought it would and it feels really lightweight on the skin so i've been loving this as well and then i also have the ilia concealer to go with it mine is in the shade sc1 chicory so i have this under my eyes um, in my t-zone this wears really well and it is like a medium coverage but i've been really liking that duo together super duper happy with it to set my concealer i am using this powder by givenchy it is this one right here i am using this because i have used up my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder i've used up the hourglass loose translucent setting powder and i don't really need another translucent powder i'm trying to use the ones that i have i like this one this one is nice but this packaging is terrible it makes such a huge mess this could really benefit from using one of those sifters like the huda beauty powder has because the powder just it pours out and it just gets everywhere it's so finely milled that it just makes a total mess but it's beautiful i love it i can use this you know to set my concealer to set my whole face but i just have it to set my concealer today and then to set the rest of my face i have been really enjoying this kosas cloud set powder i have mine in the shade feathery i have made quite a dent in this it is really really nice sets your face i have no issues with this at all it really keeps any sort of shine and breakthrough and oil at bay. It lets just a little bit through to where your makeup looks a little bit more natural throughout the day. But I really, really like this. I was not sure if I would like it. I typically like loose powders better, but this is a great powder. I was planning to go in order of how I applied everything, but it just didn't end up that way. <laughs> this is the cream bronzer that I've been using. I picked this up during the Sephora spring VIB sale. And you guys, I am so impressed. I have not been using any other cream bronzer since I purchased this. This is from the brand Lys, L-Y-S. And this is the cream bronzer. Um, it's no limits harmony. It is such a good one. This is what the applicator looks like here. It is so creamy and just like glides on your face, but blends out so well too. And it gives such good color payoff. I love it so much. It's a clean brand at Sephora. I haven't really been watching a ton of beauty videos on YouTube, but I haven't really heard anybody talk about this. Alexandria Garza, I love her. She had mentioned this, I think, a week before the sale started that she had been really liking this she's been kind of incorporating a lot of cleaner skincare and beauty items as well she mentioned this and how much she loved it so i decided to pick it up and i love it too it is so good if you like cream bronzer you definitely should try that one and then my powder bronzer on top of that is this one from kosas it is the sun show bronzer in the shade beachy they've got multiple different shades this, I believe, is the light medium shade, and it's pretty dark. It's glowy, but not too shimmery. It's just really, really beautiful. Great for the spring and the summertime. I have it on top of the Bliss bronzer right now, and I am obsessed. I have a really solid base routine right now. I really love it, and I love that a lot of my products are considered clean and have less toxic ingredients in them and such. I just feel really good about that, so I am loving my base routine right now um for blush this is like might just be my all-time favorite blush it's from patrick ta and it's in the shade she is blushing it is so so gorgeous such a beautiful color let me lift this up because it's like throwing off my focus but it is beautiful i do not have the cream on today i just have the powder but this is by far and away my favorite blush shade i feel like it was made for me i absolutely love it so much it's like the perfect color and then still absolutely love this quad from dior it's the backstage highlighting palette in the shade universal um today what i did was i just mixed all of the colors together and used it as a blush topper so i do not have like a like separate highlighter on i just mixed all the colors together put it on top of my blush and put a little bit on my nose and i was good to go um if you do not have this now this is not a clean 
um, brand or a clean product, but I freaking love it and I will not be without it. It is one of my favorite products that I own. I think everybody should have this in their um, vanity or in their makeup collection. It is one of the best products ever. Um, brows, I am using the Anastasia Brow Duo. This is in soft brown. You know, I have gone through and tried so many different brow products and I have to say I am a brow powder gal. I am, I will use a brow pencil. I will use a pomade, but I feel like my brows look the best whenever I use a powder and I feel like I can get my brows done a lot faster and they just look better when I use a powder. I am just super impatient. So if I use pencil, my brows look a little ridiculous and they just don't ever end up looking well because I don't want to take the time to do that. So I'm definitely a brow powder gal. And then to set my brows, I'm using this Kosas uh, Clear Brow Gel. It's, I don't know the exact name of it, but oh, it's the air brow, the Kosas air brow. So I just use that to set my brows. You know, brow gel is just brow gel in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like just pick one. I, I kind of like a clear brow gel better than a tinted brow gel. Now, if I'm not going to put anything in my brows at all, then tinted brow gel is something that I like to use. But for the most part, I just like a clear brow gel. I also make sure that I keep my brows tinted. I tint them myself with the Just For Men beard dye. So if I have freshly tinted brows, I can easily just throw some clear brow gel in and call it a day. My eyeshadow, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. It is this palette by Tom Ford. It is in number 27, Mink Mirage. It is just such a classic eyeshadow palette. I feel like it would look good on everybody. It is splurgy. It's not a clean product at all whatsoever, but the colors are so nice and you can just get like such a pretty eye with it and it's so easy to use. Here's the colors here. They're all matte shades. I'm using these three here. I'm not using this one just because it's a Monday and this eyeshadow look is dark enough. <laughs> but um, this is such a nice palette. The colors are a little bit more neutral cool instead of neutral warm to kind of warm my eyes up a little bit because this sometimes can make me look a little bit too cool. I just take whatever bronzer I'm using and this is what I put on my eyes first. So like I put this in the crease and on the lid as like my first initial color transition shade and it just helps bring in just like a little bit of warmth if my shadows are going to be a little bit cooler. Um, I just find that with my skin tone and like the blush and the bronzers and stuff that I like to use, I look better with a little bit more of a neutral to warm toned eye. But um, these colors are phenomenal. If you are a neutral lover or you just like earth tones and you're looking for just like a really nice palette like Mother's Day is coming up, if you want to splurge on a palette or have your husband purchase it for you or purchase it for yourself, girl, you would really like this one. I really like it and I feel like a lot of people do. Still using my favorite mascara. This is the Patrick Tom mascara. I really wanted to try the Tower 28 mascara um, during the Sephora VIB sale, but it sold out at my local store and it sold out online. So I was not able to purchase it. I think I'm signed up for the email notifications. So um, whenever that comes back in stock, I definitely want to try it. Tower 28 is a clean at Sephora brand and I've heard great things about that mascara. So if you've tried the Tower 28 mascara, let me know if it's worth it because I definitely want to try it. To set my face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's the best setting spray in my opinion. And then the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Cherry. This is such a must have color. I love it so much. It is kind of like matches my nails, but it adds the perfect little wash of color and it kind of stains your lips too. Um, I really wanted to purchase the Merit Gelee Tinted Lip Oil during the Sephora VIB sale, but I have multiple Dior lip oils. I have the Patrick Ta lip oils, which I love too. So even though I would love to try the Merit ones because it is a clean beauty product, um, I held off because I have plenty of lip oils in my arsenal already. Um, but if you have not tried the Dior lip oils, I highly recommend. I They are my favorite for sure. That is everything that I have been wearing lately. It's everything that I have on my face today. Seriously, such a good little makeup routine that I have going on. A lot of the products are clean at Sephora. They have better ingredients and it 
just makes me feel good when I put them on my face. Not only are they better for my skin and for my health, but they look good and they actually work. I know a lot of people wonder about the Ilia Skin Serum because you hear a lot of influencers talk about it. And you know, sometimes when products are going around like that, you never really know if they're trendy and actually good, you know what I mean? But you know, it took me a while to finally pick it up and try it for myself and I, I think it is awesome. Like I feel like the coverage is great. It wears for a long time. It's definitely going to be like my go-to in the summer. I'll probably have to get another shade whenever I get um, more of a tan in the summertime, but I love this product so much. What's up you guys? It is the next day. Classic me, never finishing a vlog in one day. Um, this morning, I will go ahead and pop in what I had for breakfast. I made a little yogurt parfait. I get my yogurt from my local farmer's market, so it is raw A2 yogurt. It is absolutely delicious. I top it with frozen blueberries, some natural peanut butter, and a little bit of honey. And then for lunch today, I did one of my usual meals, which was a burger patty with cheese and half of an avocado. I have been a little bloated from the weekend because I had a little bit of a cheat and I have been paying for it for sure. So sometimes when I'm really bloated, I will kind of go more low carb than normal. So that's what um, I decided to do today to kind of help get me back on track. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy to be uploading again and filming again. It is like hanging out with an old friend. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to follow Primal Glow Health if you aren't already on Instagram. And let me know what you want to see from me next. I'll talk to you guys soon.